game's not really smooth. When it's at three times speed, it seems like it's smooth. But because there's so many build jobs been generated, the game slows down. Because for every build job, it's constantly checking if someone can do it. And it will be in the queue. Which is the job queue up here. As you can see, there's a lot of jobs. Um, and that needs basically... They need doing... I mean, as you start to complete some of them, your game starts to speed up again. Like, I've just gone up two frames, because they've completed about half of the jobs. But I can't remember what the number is, so I'll just have a look. But the every build job makes you lag slightly in the game. So every job makes you lag slightly. And... Doing one of these cell blocks is a 64 by 51. So it's 3,264 build jobs being generated. Which is a hell of a lot of jobs. And every single one is constantly checking if a workman can do it. Or workwoman, since we're playing on Alpha 14. Have we got any women builders? Yes we have, we've got at least one. Does it actually say work woman? No, it still says work man on all of them. Which isn't really right, because why would they be work man if they were woman? If they were woman. God, great job, brain, with your English skills. <laughs> so, uh, the power is doing nicely. This one still hasn't. Um, isn't really being used for anything, but as soon as we start putting this monstrosity in, which is the workshop, uh, I'm sure we will be using it. In fact, I haven't really planned out where doors are going to go. I think doors are probably just going to... just going to go in these middle sections. Should really start putting that in, but I can't be bothered right now, to be honest. We still haven't got any cooks or anything, but we don't really need them. So I'm probably going to put another row of cookers and some more fridges in. Because if this is only half done and it already houses 340 prisoners, I can't see anything good coming in the future. Because that means we're probably going to get a lot of prisoners. Now, uh, because I've run out of things to talk about, I'm going to talk about... Um, my dream computer, which I, uh, I, I, <laughs> I, I basically made my dream computer on a PC customization website. Uh, if you don't know what a PC customization website is, and you like PC gaming, get a life, well, now lose your life, and, uh, go and find a PC customization website and just have a look around. It is basically like PC heaven. You've heard of PC world, these are PC heavens. They're amazing. Uh, I got my computer from a PC customization website called Chill Blast, sponsor. Um, they're not actually a sponsor. If they did, I'd like that. If any of you guys are watching, I've got one of your computers. I'll advertise you. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. They don't, they don't sponsor me. I don't want to be sponsored. Not yet, anyway. But it is a Chill Blast uh, Yog Blast, which is basically... The Yogs cast on YouTube customised it, but I made some alterations to it. Uh, I mean, a few people probably probably wondering this, but haven't been bothered to ask. But um, I have a... don't remember what the name of the case is, but I have a pretty good computer. It's an Asus something motherboard. 8 gig RAM, an overclocked i5 processor with... No, not overclocked, superclocked. Superclocked, it's a different thing. With a G, no, G, GTX 670 graphics card. Uh, 8 gig of RAM. I've got three hard drives. I've got two one terabytes and a two terabyte. And a bunch of other guff and fans and things. So that's my computer specs, if anyone was wondering. But uh, after Christmas and my birthday, when I've got some money, because I, uh, I keep using all of my money to buy games and things. Tell no one. <laughs> um, <laughs> but once I've got some money, I'm going to be upgrading my computer. 
because the good thing about PC customization websites is they're pretty much amazing at making them customizable, customizable, customizable. So I can just at any time if I want to take a bit out, put new bits in, or just add new bits. And I've decided that I'm going to take out my current graphics card, which is a pretty decent graphics card, but I've noticed it's not really the best if you want to play games like, well, next-gen games like Battlefield 4, and I'm sure there'll be quite a few new, new games coming out soon that will need better hardware. Plus, this will make it easy for me to make videos, because I won't get horrible frame rates. And I'll be able to have uh, more than two monitors, which is uh, something that I really want. But yeah, uh, I'm going to swap it out. And looking at my graphics card on eBay and stuff, if I sell it, I will get around a undisclosed amount of money. But that will mean that I'll have enough money, as well as if I put, say, 150-ish quid on on top, I would be able to buy two GTX 770s, which are already better than the 670, but I'll be able to get two of them. Nerd heaven. <laughs> so yeah, that is my uh, my plans for the future. Spending every bit of money I own on a computer. So I'm going to cheat slightly, and I'm going to put my cable like so. Uh, because I don't want to run it all the way around. I'm just going to join it up. Probably doesn't need to go that far, actually. I'm starting to think I'm not even putting these in the middle. In the middles, which wouldn't really matter, but at the same time it looks better if you do it right. I uh, need to put some more lights in here so you can see the whole thing. I also need to set it as a yard and perhaps put some weightlifting benches and stuff in. Just so it looks a bit better. I need to get rid of these trees as well. And to get rid of them I'm just basically going to put them down. But that'll be coming in a later episode. In fact, I might even like... How big, if I did this, is the inside area? It's 29 by 32. So if I did, say, like, 16, 29 would be... If I did 10 from either side... Four and four. Wow! I actually put that right in the middle. If I did something like that, I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just ignore me. Um, but for the next series, which will be coming at the end of this month, hopefully, which will be the Alpha 15 series, we're basically going to use the money we're going to get from this prison to build the whole thing pretty much again with a few changes, but with this expansion and two more cell blocks. And then we're going to do that again with the next expansion. And then just gradually build up until my computer goes, Nope, too big. And I can't load the file of the prison anymore. Oh, God, sorry. I had a bit of a, um, a, bit of a burp then. That's not nice, is it? It's a bit unprofessional there. Uh, I'm just going to put some more lights in here because I noticed it looked a little bit dark down that middle section. <sighs> no point prisoners being walking around in the dark. I mean, like this little uh, little tube section type place here. I'll just put like three in there. Why not? A bit dark in there. See, all of this is slowly being powered up. I'm hoping that yeah, I've got I've got everything like hooked up. I've got a lot of um, a lot of spare power sort of left over. 
when I say a lot of spare power, I mean a lot of spare power. Um, but hopefully, as soon as these last few cables get put in here, we'll start to see some light. I would start building this foundation, but I, I kind of want to get all of these cables in and everything lit up first. So then I don't have to see this flashing whilst I wait for the next bit to build. <laughs> so of course next Saturday or Sunday is the day that I'm going to try and do my um, my live stream, if you remember. Now I'm just very quickly going to kind of want to try something but at the same time I'm not really sure how well it's gonna it's gonna work but I think we'll try that uh, I think we'll try that next episode before we start doing cells that just getting stuck there? <laughs> I think it is. I don't think this is actually doing anything. I think that's just watering everything. Which would kind of suck if it was. No, it was the pressure would be fine. So if I switch off that, yeah, it's, it, it's, it'll be fine. Come on, put in the cables. This is the one thing if I ha My one pet peeve with this game is you have to wait a hell of a long time for stuff to be built. Hell of a long time of my however many hours it says on Steam playing this game. They've just been wasted watching them build things. <laughs> now. I'm hoping this will power that. So I don't want to have to bring a cable down. Now we we're missing one, two, three cables. There's only three cables to go until the place starts to get lit up. But of course they're doing the rest of them because <laughs> they're freaking geniuses. So there's one there. And one there, they're both in progress. We might do it, we might actually light this thing up before the end of the world. That's how long it looks like it's going to take by this point. But obviously the guy that is going to put this one in... Is that, what's he doing? He's just walking around. The guy that has to put this one in has to go all the way around. It's um, it's quite depressing how far he has to run. I mean that area is not powered there. That's not good. I might just uh, I might just do that just so that area gets some power. Woohoo! Power. We have power, which is all being drawn from that one, and it's barely even like full. I'll probably power all of the cells off of one of these actually, but I don't really want to. I might just remove some capacitors. I'll remove some, yeah, I'll remove some capacitors from these, and replace them onto this one. Because that needs about full anyway. 
So, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Now, do I build this foundation? And maybe this bit whilst I'm at it. Or, do I do something different? Let me pause this and then I can see what I can do.